Welcome to the strip. Coffee talk air. Had to switch it up a little bit. Today, man, I, I was running across some information. I got a couple topics to talk about, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to relax so I can go on in. Um, first topic is it, really disturbing because I just ran across some information that really is really disturbing. I'm going to read it to you. First, I would like to give a shout out. Shout out to Wax Dog. Shout out to Mr. Skinny TV. Um, there's a couple more. I'll get to those. Um, now let me jump right into this because this this shit is on my brain. I want you to listen to this, and then I'm just gonna go in and just tell it like it is because. There ain't no beating around the bush with this one. There ain't no beating around the bush with this bull. You know what I'm saying? And this is why we talk so strongly against the mind frame and mindset of people who think and operate like Hassan Campbell. Don't think I'm not going to mention that. I'm going to mention him in here because he part of the push to stop all this bullshit. You ready? So let me read this to y'all. A Florida school board member sparked a social media freakout after she posted photos of a grade school class trip to a bar and grill known as an LGBTQ hangout. Broward County School Board member Sarah Leonard posted photos on her social media page Wednesday showing a Wilt a Wilton Manors Elementary outing at Rosie's Bar and Grill, setting off a backlash that saw the governor's press secretary chime in. It said, I was so honored to be invited to chaperone the field trip to the incredible Rosie. I do believe if you listen to this 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 bullshit right here. Who in the fuck authorized that or thought that was okay? Even if they were high school students. Here's the thing. Adults nowadays, they have it all twisted. There's no way that a fifth... Now, you could argue. One could argue because I did read or hear something about one could say, well, that's just like going to an Applebee's that has a bar and a grill. And it could be dependent. Because if it's simply just a bar and grill, it simply is what it says first, a bar that has a grill in there and has, you know, the area and the food for grilling. I'll beat your ass, you take my kid. That's all I'm saying. Somebody should be in the uproar. But again, that's going to bring me back to the point at hand. Here we go again, a debacle debacle or fumble, befuddle, whatever the fuck y'all say. Here's what I'm talking about with Hassan and others like Hassan. Here's where your platform and your voice should be coming in into play. Everybody and their mama should be jumping on this. This should be news. We should be our own news. Report what we deem valuable as news instead of the garbage that we keep seeing, like the murders and the kidnappings and the, the fires and so forth and so on, the things that they force to be news to you. It's simply just information. So... I wanted to read that, and I wanted to start the show with that because 
it's a good segue into where I'm going with this. For the past couple of days, I've been hearing a couple of people talk about controlling their own, uh, being responsible for our own, getting our own into successful spaces. And I want to tell the people, I told you before, I'm here to talk frank. I'm not here to sugarcoat shit. That's not my position. Here's the thing. Shit ain't changing. If they wanted to change, we'd be changing. There will be more platforms like this one growing. Where we're going to talk about everyday situations because you cannot heal and, and talk about uplifting kids or youth and, or, or family and friends if we're not talking about the noun and shit. They all want to sit back and still be on that celebrity gossip shit. That's why I keep saying fuck Hassan Campbell because he's trying to be celebrity status with his shit. So his little shit that he's doing is to attract. He want to be right there, but they don't like him either. You know what I'm saying? That circle don't like him because he's a fucking nobody. With, with wishy-washy ways. I heard him when he say, when he first came out, his whole push was to help kids that been touched. No, the fuck it wasn't, bitch. Your whole point was for you. See, the thing was, you had already fixed in your fucked up psychological mind that it didn't matter how the cars lay, whether it was negative or positive, when you told the story. Whether people jumped on your back for being a fucking faggot or just supported what you had going. You you didn't care. You was with that. I've been following and watching. You you were with that. The thing is, shit get a little heated in the real world. And that's where the problem come into play at. So back to these platforms. So there's a multitude of information and things that we could be doing right now. We could have a team. Of, this, this is what's going on. Reach out to me. It's getting built. So we could have a team that's strictly blogging resources. We can have a team that's strictly for the entertaining shit that you want to put on here. We can have a team that's strictly for the, 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 the cooking shit. And we put it all under one umbrella, like a station. See, we have the power and the people and the intellect. We don't have the balls. You know, I'm talking to some of my peers and family and friends, too. See, everybody want to talk about how much money they got. Oh, we getting money. We getting money. We getting money. Everybody getting money in some way, shape, or form. There's poverty out here, but everybody getting money. And that's what everybody claiming. So either you a a worker or you a hustler. I ain't say you. I ain't say drug dealer. They're hustling. And then you will sell your fucking socks. If the price is right. Talk about the ones on your feet. You did? So, I didn't want to go too and get too serious on this video. Because what, also what I'm trying to do is welcome in all the new subscribers and people that's new to the channel itself. So this is just another way right here to just let me know you a little bit better and you get to know me a little bit better. See, on this video, you can engage this video because I talk back. When, if you say ignorant shit, I'm going to say ignorant shit back to you or I might just move you up out of here. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I don't know you. If you're talking good and we're talking business, and your virtue is correct, then we'll proceed, and we can help build this. Just, here's, here's a quick thing for you. A lot of us want way more than when we're willing 
to work for. For years, you hear your granny and your aunts and your uncles talk about things that they wanted to accomplish, places they wanted to go or heights they wanted to reach. But what I did as a youngster, as a studier and a researcher, was I observed my own family also and studied them. And I come to find out. When you want these things and you're dreaming about these things and talking about you want to manifest these things, you have to work for that shit. You have to move in that direction. I still continually, on every video, I might reiterate the situation that nothing is not moving. Okay, but within saying that, there has to be some energy behind it to propel or it's just vibrating very low. See, because things that you think are not moving are just vibrating very, very low to where it, it appears to be, definition-wise, stationary to you. You know what I mean? So we're the same as people, though. So think about it. You're not propelling and you're not moving and going nowhere because you're vibrating very, 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 very low. Now, this ain't got nothing to do with no spooky shit. There's no, no, no doctrine, no, no religion, no none of that. It's just me talking to y'all for a minute. I mean, we're going to get back on bitch ass Hassan Campbell in a minute. But there's other bloggers, too, that need to put up their ass. Like the conscious or unconscious community. Why the fuck is we still over in these little rooms debating bullshit? What are you talking about? Let me ask you something. When one of you fuck nuts found out that you were... Let me rephrase that. When one of you fuck nuts decided you were going to be a comedic priest or a Hebrew Israelite or a Muslim or a five percenter or a more when when you decided that let me give you a tidbit just that action alone disqualifies you from it I'm just speaking in in, in in the aspect of its virtue and its value and its origin. You see, because you just don't you just don't choose to be Jewish. You know what I mean? They they are they're they're Jewish. You don't choose to be Puerto Rican and you were born in Puerto Rico. You, you didn't choose to be African American. You let somebody tell you you were that. So what I'm saying is, you got full control of everything that's going on, and you're not moving it. You're not moving yourself. That's all I'm saying. You ain't moving yourself. So, back to this shit, because I also heard, man, this nigga called this lady, this mother queen, a fat walrus. Let's use his psychology. I saw your mom ain't shit. That old raggedy knuckle dragon heifer ain't worth a fucking quarter. 
an old wrinkly, gray-haired ass. Bitch ain't worth shit. Because her son ain't shit. Her son out here talking to women sideways. So your mama couldn't have been worth a shit. Her son out here so worried about females' information and all this goofy shit that he lied to the community that he raping. Oh, oh, y'all don't think he raping the community. Well, let me give it to you like this. Y'all niggas that want to have his back, that's from there, that be talking shit in the chat or in the comments. Where's his school? Where's his daycare? Where's his hedge funds? See that goofy shit he say? To evade questions and shit about when you ask him what he's doing, that I don't have to explain. Why would I have to explain? A nigga who ain't doing shit always say that. The people that's doing really never even have to state that they're doing because it simply shows. Man. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to come up with some of this stuff. You don't have to be a rocket scientist at all. Just don't be a whole ass nigga. Be a stand up. Like I say, I'm no better in certain aspects than other men. I make mistakes, trust me. Been making them, make them now, and we'll continue to make them, just like you. The difference is, once one knows himself and have absorbed enough proper and correct base information, how it registers and computes is a lot different. Whereas you would take in some information and regurgitate that shit out to somebody else before it has time to digest and, and get in here and you fix it around to suit your needs. But you're trained to do that. So that's why I talk to people the way I talk to them. I'm highly educated in a couple areas. I'm also from the same environment as most of you talk about all the time, what you call hood. But let me give you some let me really get deep with you and personal with you. Because it might hurt your feelings when I call you a suck ass nigga. Because when I wanted better, and I knew that selling whatever I was selling or moving whatever I was moving or however I was moving or taking whatever I was taking, you know what I mean? You know what helped me change? I just stopped. I help myself change the same way you can. See, this shit ain't hard. Motherfucker told you you had had it. Some people do like stuff extra hard. I'm here to tell you. Man, you can cold turkey anything because it's up here. See, I didn't even have to cold turkey and go through jitters and all that because I've never been a person who thought that anything or any substance was controlling me anyway. But for those of a lesser mindset is simply, I'm not about to go and buy no bag today if I don't want to smoke. I'm not going to get a bottle if I don't want to drink. That's how you get shit, though. That's how you get ahead also, by making those same types of decisions. When there is an opportunity and you see it, jump on it. I watch people pass them up all the time. For way less. And I laugh at them because they're the same people that look at you and say, why the fuck do he be doing that? What made him want to start doing YouTube videos? Well, I've been doing it for a long time. My first one I ever did was like 2009. But I really wasn't 
on that, on that back then. I mean, it was wavy, but I, I wasn't really waving. It's a necessity now. Because after observing for years, our people use it for nothing. We not reaching out. We not connecting. We still not building shit. We still don't own shit. We still ain't moving shit. We don't have no freight liners. We don't have no airplanes. All our resources come third party shit. Somebody's getting them from somewhere, bringing them here. And then we enjoy the luxury of it. So we don't have people that are going to places, discovering things that's not being shown to us, that we're not consuming or not having a uh, stake in taking part and playing with or enjoying because we ain't moving. That's all. We ain't moving. Something else I want to touch on, too, on the back end of this, this, this video. Like I said, I'm trying some new stuff. I just want to thank you for being patient and enjoying some conversation. But this was simply a ramble. I just wanted to touch on some stuff and uh, see how this, this new material and all this stuff was going. But, yeah, still, back on that little Nas X and Boosie situation. Why the fuck is, is Nas X daddy opening his fucking mouth? No, I get, look, 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 I would speak up for my son, too. But I would also be accountable. Campbell boy, pay attention. This is context. Ball boy fans, pay attention. Your guy is learning. Now, here's the thing. You supposed to defend your son, your child, but you're also supposed to hold them to the fire as well. So in saying what you're saying to someone else because of what they said to your son, you need to check your son for the display of fuckery. Again, as I state, I'm not homophobic because Phobia is having a fear of something. So I'm not a scared of a homo. So I have no homophobia. But again, I have every right to dislike a lifestyle or to not agree with a lifestyle and state it as I wish because I'm I'm me. So his father what are you saying something to Boosie for, though? Why are you going to pull your son to the side and say, even though you're homo, your antics is what got people saying what they're saying. Not your choice to be what you wanted to be. That's your scapegoat. So you still dealing with that. So you want to make it seem like that's what people are dealing with with you. It's not that. Coming out, you could have just came out and still dressed and did whatever the fuck you was doing. You what the fuck. You came out with an agenda. Somebody else placed another agenda with it. So you walking around in pink chaps and got you doing all this old goofy shit. And you winning because you 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 need just that to I guess be you. You still embarrassed of some shit on the inside and it shows because I grew up with people and family that were gay. So did some of y'all that's watching. So you can visually see what an in the closet person act like and a person that was just plain old what they were. We didn't even. You are what you are. People don't really know what your sexual preferences and shit like that be until you start expressing that shit openly. 
Like if you ain't took a motherfucker home with you, motherfucker ain't know that you was there with no whatever the fuck you was with. Then y'all want to put your business out there and then act like people in your business. Y'all motherfuckers stupid as fuck. But yeah, man. I just wanted to test this shit out. See how this works. Try to tune in my coloring and my fading and all that. So that the next one, boy, I don't, I don't know. I might do a couple like this. I kind of like them bricks in the back because we is on the ass. Y'all know what I'm saying? I'll be back, man. This has been a fun one. Comment, though. Get to know me. Have some conversation. Haters, I mean, y'all can talk, too. Give the fuck. I don't know y'all. Y'all don't know me. Say what the fuck you gonna say. Don't say no goofy shit, though, and you in here watching, though. Like, don't be one of them niggas. Come out of here.